Holding the wheel is a simple skill for a cyclist to learn, and it will mean that you can ride with less effort, but go faster. In this video, we'll run through why you should do it, how you should do it, and what you should do if another rider is sitting on your wheel. What does holding the wheel mean? Well, very simply, it means riding closely behind another cyclist, metaphorically holding onto their back wheel no matter what. When you're trying hard, it can literally feel like you're clinging on. If you look at experienced cyclists riding together, you'll notice that they always cycle quite close to the person in front of them. And that's because they will be sheltered from the wind. Basically, you will go faster while putting in less effort. Studies have shown that riding behind someone else can lead to around 40% less drag when close to the wheel in front compared to riding by yourself, which is huge. Just think how much fresher you'll be towards the end of your ride if you can hold someone's wheel whenever possible. It can, however, be really scary at first to ride very close behind another cyclist, and for good reason. You can't see where you're going as well. Plus, if the rider in front breaks suddenly, then you won't have time to react and therefore might crash. Which brings us on to the first rule for riding on somebody's wheel. Only ride on the wheel if it's someone that you trust and if it's someone that knows you're there. Now, you'll want to think about how close you are to the person in front. You can get a bit of drafting effect, even from 10 to 15 feet back, but to get the biggest draft, experienced cyclists will ride much closer. But this is something you should really take your time in working towards. First, why not try riding two meters behind the cyclist in front as opposed to five meters? Then, once you feel comfortable with that distance, you can slowly work your way closer and closer. When you get a feel for it and a sense of just how much easier it can be, you will quickly see just why, whenever there's a chance to hold the wheel, you will want to take it. There are, of course, pitfalls to this. Uh, make sure you never go so close to the wheel in front that you start to overlap your front wheel with the rear wheel ahead. This can be really dangerous because if, for example, your front wheel sits to the right of the wheel in front of you and that rider suddenly moves to the right, unfortunately, you're more than likely going to crash. What about being able to see, though? It is tempting to just stare at the back wheel of the rider in front of you. Often feels like that's the only way, in fact, to make sure you don't ride into it. But rather counterintuitively, this actually will make you more likely to have a problem because you won't be able to see what's coming up ahead of you. Instead then, try and look a few meters ahead of the rider in front at all times. This will mean that you're ready to respond to any obstacles that you need to avoid. So what about if somebody is riding on your wheel? How do you need to adapt your riding? Well, when cycling with someone on your wheel, smoothness is key. So for example, don't slam your brakes on with no warning. You want to make sure you signal that you're about to brake whenever possible. This can be with a shout or simply with a hand signal. And again, do this as early as possible. It's no good slamming to a stop and then telling people that you're slowing down. And then, often when riders stand out of the saddle, their bike shoots backwards a little bit, which obviously can be really dangerous to riders close behind. So to make sure you don't do that, when you stand up, you can simultaneously put a strong pedal stroke in. It's slightly hard to explain, but trust me, it's going to make sense once you try it out at home. Finally, point out any potholes with enough time for the rider behind to react and move. It is all too common for riders to forget, so the cyclist behind plows straight into it. Make sure you let us know how you got on with our tips on how to hold a wheel in the comments section below, or if you've got any of your own tips on this subject, we'd love to hear those too. Now, once you've mastered it, you might want to take things to the next level, which will be riding in a pace line with a group of cyclists. For advice on that, why not check out the video that's on the screen right now. <laughs>